Okay, here's the plan. We have two Grammy tickets. I'm about to buy a flight to LA right now. Uh, I'm gonna get in tonight. I'm gonna get all set up and staged. I think what I'm gonna try and do is I'm going to basically pretend like I'm homeless and not ask for money, but ask for someone to talk to. And uh, I, I guess my hope here is that people are, are willing to stop, you know, and talk to a stranger. You never know what could happen if you do that, I guess, is, is the, the idea that's bouncing around in my head.
Well, the Grammys are officially over. And you know, guys, I gotta be honest with you. I, um, I had a phenomenal night. I had a, an amazing, unforgettable experience tonight at the Grammys by myself. And those of you that know me, you know that I would have had 100 times more fun watching magic uh, in somebody else's eyes. Watching the Grammys live versus watching them on TV, you get to see the raw, uncut, unedited, unscripted, in-your-face Grammys. And I gotta be honest with you, I'm incredibly excited that I was able to, uh, to witness that because I watched Adele, who is such an amazing icon, such a, a legendary uh, artist, fuck up, literally. Um, right in the middle of her tribute song, she says, oops, I fucked up. Sorry, Ed. And start it over. And, um, you know, guys, I'll be honest with you. Most of you that know me, you've seen me fail. You know I'm, I'm a king of failure. Sometimes you don't get things right. Sometimes you don't get them perfect on the first go-around. I'll tell you what, she nailed it on the second go-around. When a lot of other people would have been very scared and very shy, they would have ran off stage, they would have quit, they would have tuck tailed and given up. It was incredibly, incredibly impressive tonight to watch her do what she did and own her mistake and fix that mistake and press on. And I feel like that's what happened today here in LA. I came out here expecting perfection. I came out here expecting humanity to change. I came out here expecting conversation everywhere I went because I was homeless. I figured that people would want to talk to me if I wasn't asking them for money. And I was wrong. I was very wrong. Don't be scared to be wrong. Focus on doing the right thing. That's what's going to get us places in the future, guys.